Welcome to Olympian Water Testing, giving you the best in water analysis. Today we're looking at the CDC's website with the water disinfection with chlorine and chloramine to take a look at some of the information about it. So chlorine and chloramine are major disinfectants used in public water systems. And you can find out if there's a disinfectant in your water, what kind is used, how well your utility has followed rules, by obtaining a copy of the Utility Consumer Confidence Report. So that is important to know. So disinfection with chlorine. So what is chlorination? You may be familiar with it. The process of adding chlorine to the drinking water to kill parasites, bacteria, and viruses, and different processes can be used to achieve safe levels of chlorine in drinking water. Using or drinking water with small amounts of chlorine does not cause harmful health effects and provides protection against waterborne diseases and outbreaks. Now, are there any health issues associated with chlorine? So your water company monitors water quite regularly to provide you with safe drinking water. They look at the quality, they look at other factors, and some people are more sensitive to other chemicals and changes to the environment, and individuals who have health concerns should seek medical advice from their health care provider before contacting the local health department. Does chlorine affect patients during dialysis? During dialysis, large amounts of water are used to clean waste products out of the patient's blood, and dialysis centers must treat the water to remove all chemical disinfectants, including chlorine and chloramine, before the water can be used for dialysis. Home dialysis users should consult the machine manufacturer for instructions on how to properly treat their water before use. Now, what are safe levels of chlorine in drinking water? That can be up to 4 milligrams per liter, ml, or 4 parts per million. Will chlorine affect my water's taste or smell? Now, chlorine in water can taste or smell different than untreated water. You know that high amounts of chloramine or chlorine or whatever it is can affect water that you can actually taste it, especially in pools or some types of drinking water where it's used a lot. Some people like the taste and smell of chlorinated water. Others do not. Others can have issues with it. Taste and smell problems may arise depending upon the water quality and the amount of chlorine used. Now, will it affect my pets? It's toxic to fish, other aquatic animals, reptiles, and amphibians, not like humans, other household pets. These type of animals absorb water directly into the bloodstream, so don't keep these animals in water that contain these disinfectants. Chlorine can be removed from water by letting it sit out for a few days or buying a product from your local pet store that removes chlorine. Now, why is my water provider temporarily switching from chloramine to chlorine disinfectant? The EPA allows drinking water treatment plants to use chloramine and chlorine to disinfect drinking water. And water system pipes develop a layer of biofilm slime that makes killing germs more difficult. Now moving on to chloramine. What is chloramination? This is the process of adding chloramine to the drinking water to disinfect it and kill germs, sometimes used as an alternative to chlorination. Chloramines are a group of chemical compounds that contain chlorine and ammonia. Now, are there any health issues as associated with chloramine in water? Studies indicate that using or drinking water with small amounts of chloramine does not cause harmful health effects and provides protection against waterborne disease outbreaks. And these studies reported no observed health effects from drinking water with chloramine levels of less than 50 milligrams per liter. A normal level for drinking water disinfection can range from 1.2 to 4.0 milligrams per liter. And your water company monitors to regularly provide you with safe drinking water. Now, what are safe levels of chloramine in water? It could be up to 4 milligrams per liter or 4 parts per million. Does it affect patients during dialysis? During dialysis, large amounts of water are used to clean waste products out of a patient's blood, and dialysis centers must treat the water to remove all chemical disinfectants, including chlorine and chloramine, before the water can be used for dialysis. Why is my water providing switching from chlorine to chloramine disinfection? The EPA allows drinking water treatment plants to use chloramine and chlorine to disinfect drinking water, and research shows that chloramine and chlorine both have benefits and drawbacks, and chlorine's highly effective method of disinfection. However, while it's in the pipes, it produces small amounts of chemicals. And chlorine is also used up quickly in water systems. Sometimes there's not enough chlorine to kill germs, so chloramine is used or monochloramine is used. It will affect my water's taste or smell. If you notice anything in your taste of water, it may be our tree with chloramine has less of a chlorine taste. And will it increase the amount of lead or copper in my drinking water? It can change the chemical properties of the water, which can affect lead and copper pipes. Lead and copper have strict 
tightly regulated in drinking water by the EPA and COPPER rule, and they provide guidance for local water authorities to switch on chloramine on how to minimize lead and copper levels. So that's some interesting things to take a look at, at chlorine and chloramine from the CDC. Keep in mind they can still cause byproducts, they can still cause taste issues, and if you have any concerns, it's always a good idea to periodically test your water.